Good morning. This morning we are tinkering around. I've never done this before. I've never used acid before, but I've been playing around with it. I've been curious. I got this jug of acid yesterday at a yard sale for a quarter. Looks like somebody paid $9.50 for it. Hassa muratic acid. It says lowers pH in swimming pools. Well, uh, you know, I looked it up on the internet. There's all kinds of things that people use acid for that muratic acid for. A lot of times it's uh, to scrub down brick um, for surfaces. Uh, if you had a stain on your concrete, you could use it. I mean, it's all kinds of stuff. And it even has um, the ability to remove rust. Now, a couple things I've been experimenting with, and I thought I'd share it with you, is here, well, let me show you. I should have, I don't have one exactly like it, but this bolt looked like this, not, and now it looks like this. So, um, and the inside of the threads, you know, are perfectly clean you can see the difference there it works and I'll tell you what it is aggressive so be careful and you're gonna want eye protection you're gonna want some rubber gloves you're gonna want to take an old take a water jug or a milk jug cut the bottom of it out like this you're gonna need well you'll end up with where's mine You'll end up with a nice open tray like this. You can see the acid in there. I should have my gloves on. I'm going to put them on. Hang on a second. Hold on. All right. We're back. We're back. Anyway, I hate wearing rubber gloves. Anyway, but anyway, uh, <coughs> I've got eye protection on. The glass. Get yourself something to cover the acid when you're not using it. I've been using that book. That's probably not a good thing to to uh, cover it with, honestly. Um, but it's all I got right now, and it's, and it's working. So um, I was going to give you some tips if you're ever actually experimenting on this yourself. Make sure you have some clean rags. Like I said, this stuff will get away from you. I'm working on this old Coleman stove you can see the corrosion that's in there and uh, I used the acid to clean this element so this element has multiple stages to it I don't know if you can see it in there but I was able to dip that and I'm telling you a thing it's hard to see with the video but it looks absolutely perfect it looks like it's looks like it's new the element that's right in the center of the stove. Um, I haven't cleaned that up yet, but um, you'll see what that looks like. And then what I'll do is I'll hit that with the <coughs> um, navel jelly, knock that down, turn it black. It's going to look beautiful. The grill, which is um, you know pretty gnarly. This has a, a polish, uh, a sheen to it. I didn't want to ruin that. So I just literally dipped it once and pulled it out. And I just left, let it kind of sit over here on the side. And that stuff, it just literally wiped, wiped right off. And this, you know, this is, this is the area that takes the flame. You know, every time you use it, it looks great. So <clears throat> I wouldn't use it with the brass or anything. Uh, here's what I'm going to show you. If you have, oh, first of all. I have better ways of, not better, but I would never use acid on a daily basis. I, I like wire wheels. I like taking things to my uh, grinder, uh, my wire wheel that's on my grinder. Um, I've got a commercial uh, Dremel with a wire wheel on it. Wire wheel works great, um, but you're going to see something that I never understood is that you don't get it all out with a wire wheel. This is what you end up with when you take a wire wheel to it first and then um, 
hit it with the acid. And I'm going to demonstrate that. Here is an old hook. It's got lots of beautiful rust on there. Let me see if this is going to fit in my bath. Okay. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this half to my wire wheel first. And then I'm going to let this one fly. I'm going to let this, I'm not going to touch this side. So give me a second here. And I'm going to clean that up. All right. <clears throat> so this is the surface that I would normally work off after hitting it with the wire brush. There's the control side, untouched. All right. I'm going to go ahead. I don't know if you can see the acid here. You should probably have a face mask on also. You should probably have a lab coat. You should probably look like you're working at Intel. I'm going to leave the shiny side up so you can see the bubblings. Because this thing isn't going to go to bubbling. You'll just take my word for it on the other side. No bubbles. Or very few. I'm going to set this in here. It's not quite covering. Let me give this a little love. Here we go. It's not covering because it's got like a hump in the bottom. All right, I'm going to cover that. <clears throat> I'm going to give it, uh, let's say, let's give it two minutes. All right, ding. What do we got? Let me take this. Actually, I should, let me get some water. To neutralize this with some water. All right, I'm back. Got some water. Where's my little hook? Oh yeah, okay, right in front of me. All right. Put this acid out of the way. I'm gonna put it all the way out of the way. You're going to notice that it's sticky. The acid is pretty sticky. Especially when it's... Well, it did a pretty good job on the other side, actually. Pretty good. But this side, you'll see, you see all the, the darkness? It's gone. Now watch this. I'll hit this with the wheel again. that did is it got the few little areas that we're still it was still working on. Look at that bad boy. There's the other side untreated. So the point is get everything that you can off of there first before you use the acid. Be careful using the acid on thin and small things. Remember if you don't neutralize the acid with some water and wipe it off it'll keep working. So if you're using thin material, um, you know, you could ruin your work. Um, glasses, mask, gloves, all that fun stuff. But uh, this is this is lovely. Look at that. This is, I like it. Look at the result. You know, it's a little dangerous. It's a little dangerous. But uh, you know, I'm down. I'm, I made it, it's a I'm, it's a believer. I'm a believer of it now. And then maybe there's some different types of acid too. I don't. I just ran across this particular kind. Um, I remember as a kid pulling up in someone's uh, driveway, and uh, my Volkswagen leaked a bunch of oil, 
and uh, I've had to use the muriatic acid to lift that oil up off the off the uh, off the driveway, and it worked. It gets down in there and eats up that oil and gets that stain off there pretty good. So I'm thinking that it's pretty household and it's probably better to use than some other acid. So anyway, that was fun. I uh, thought you'd enjoy it. I did. Uh, I've got all kinds of stuff that uh, I'm gonna practice on if I end up with finding something that you gotta see. All fired up. Thanks for watching.